Hello everyone, you're welcome. This is Kingsley from Kingsbird Designs. If you're just joining me for the first time, please ensure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new video. Okay, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through a particular, solving a particular problem in this particular video. So, I'm actually going to be showing you, this. like for example, you can see from this is a, an image that was sent from me from one of my viewers which he was con actually, he actually complained that his, he can't set up his menu bar because of this particular error so now I'm going to be showing you how to insert your menu bar without even coming to this site to edit your menu bar or the only thing you will be needing is to first of all ensure you insert your e logo in your website on your website and publish it then the next thing you are going to be needing and also is for you to ensure that you have already created your menus and inserted them so now if in case you actually this is how your menu is supposed to look like if you have created the menu it's supposed to like look like something like this your own might be different but just this is where the dashboard wants to click on menu is going to take the here you have in case you want to know actually know how to create this menu so i cannot you can actually check on the description box below i'm going to drop the link in the video that will show you how to create this particular menu so now i'm going to be going straight to where what i want to be showing you today how to create your menu bar without even coming to the customize section so now where are, how am i going to do this if you have your elementor is installed already you can you can see you have templates here then let's just try something once you click on team builder once you click click on team builder you can see it actually require request you to get a pro version of the elementor if you have a pro version of elementor you think this act is actually going to work out for you very fine because if I should come to add new now, let's say for example, if I should click on add new, I won't be able to add any. You can see, only have page and section. I can add, actually add the header to it. So now let's, how are we, are we, am I going to fix this particular problem? Let me show you what to do. You have to either get the pro version of the Elemental Pro, you have to ensure you go and get the pro version you can actually just click on it and it will take you to their page i'm not here to actually promote anybody or but you in case you i believe you might already start enjoying the use of elements also you can actually go and get the pro version but in case you for the sake of my tutorial i i have a crack version i'm showing you how to work with because i just want to show you you, you can actually go and buy the yourself so but in case you need the link to where to get the cracked version the null version you can actually check in the also check in the description box below i actually drop a link here where you can get it up but if you've actually if you've succeeded in downloading the elemental pro from the link i drop in the comment box below you can actually let me go to where i have my you can see I have my downloaded here. This is how it's going to look. It's going to come as a zip file. So what you need to do is to unzip it. You have to ensure you extract it. This is I've already extracted mine. This is how it's going to be. So now I just click on it. Once you click on it, it's going to open up like this. This is how you are going to see it. What you're going to do now is to click on this. You can see this is how everything is supposed to look like. So ensure you copy just click on this and this i'm going to select the both of them and just copy it i'm going to copy it then go to where i you have your website now i'm going to navigate to where you have i have my own website i save my website here then we have this now i'm going to come to content then plugins then if you on the plugins now you can see i already have my elements of here so what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this particular one. I'm going to delete it. You can see I no more have the elemental here now. So I'm going to insert, paste the new one I brought in into this particular place. So let's see how this is going to work out for me. Us. Okay. 
Okay, once you just have to wait for it to finish copying, you can see mine is almost done. So that's mine is actually done. So I'm going to go back to where I have my website and go to plugins, install plugins. You can see that when I click open that install plugins, it's going to come up with my plugins area. You can see I have my Elementor, which is still telling me I should go pro. Uh, it's telling me I should go pro. So I have the go Elementor pro. What I'm going to do is just click on activate. Once I click on activate, it's going to activate this particular plugin. You can see once I, you can see as it's already activated, and you can see that the pro is no more on this element, so it's not longer telling me to go pro. So at this stage now, our Elementor is actually can actually use the pro features from this for free. So now I'm going to now go to where I have my template again and come to where we have Team Builder. Just click on it. Now it takes me here. You can now see that I now have more features to actually work with. So now I'm going to go to where we have header since we want to create a menu. It's going to be our header. So I'm going to add a new header for the first time. Then it's going to be a header. Then you can give it a name. Let me say mine is main menu main header sorry then click on create template once you click on create template it's going to take you straight to where you have your elementor it's going to open up elementor for you to actually edit your menu the way you want it to look like you can see it's actually opening my elementor let's just wait for it okay in case if you open your if this is finished opening this is how it's going to look like now um my internet is actually on you can see i have my internet connect or connected already but you can still do this even without internet connection that's the truth but the only thing by the time you open it it's not going to actually open up this like this for you but if you want to get it the right app do it like this your internet has to be on but you can actually leave it off as i said it will still install for you so now let me see if you I want I can actually pick a print a already made template here and just make use of it straight away. Like for example, you can let me say I can decide to use this and just click on it and click on insert. It's going to actually insert that particular menu for me. It's then I start working on it and design change the colors to the way I want it to look like. You can see it already grabbed my menu and inserted it for me, but really i don't this is not actually what i want so i want to show you how to do it yourself so i'm going to remove it and show you everything from scratch so i'm now going to what i'm going to do now is i'm going to bring in remember i deleted the one i brought in now i'm going to bring in this inner section into this particular area so i have the inner section here so i'll now have i'm going to do something let me just get this place stretch it so that it's going to fool the whole side then i'm going to give it a color let me say i'm going to give it something like a deep shade of blue let me say this is the color i'm giving it i'm just using this for testing sake so this is how it's going to be so i'm going to Use of this. So now let me now bring in others. I'm going to bring in my site logo to this side. Then once I bring in my site logo, this is the logo. So I'm going to rescale it, adjust it from this side. I'm adjusting it. Remember, it was from the main. I adjusted it so that it fits well so i'm going to click here again and bring in my navigation menu i'm going to bring in navigation menu up to this side you can see it already came very well so this is how so far this is how it looks like you can see my menu bar is already inserted for me so now i'm going to now what i'm going to do is to create click on here and i want this to go this way to flow from this side and this to remain there and on this side i want this to be practically aligned same thing with this one i want it to be in the middle then what i want to do again is to insert color to this i can click here 
come to this particular place now let me show you something once you click on that menu you have remember i said i have two menus here so i'm going to select the particular menu i have i want to display you can see this is the one i want to display so i can just click that then come to where i have this then on my normal the text i might be going to give it white for the text then if i want to increase anything i can actually play along with all this you can change the font size the size of the text you can see the menu what particular size you want to give it i'm going to leave my hands maybe 14 i'm going to leave it as 14 then just play here you can play with all these particular settings yourself the drop down menu how do you want them to be you can see the drop down menu how do you want them to be that you can actually set it up here do you when you hover over them how do you want it to be like let me just work on this first floor one and i don't actually want to make the video too long so on this now i have this i'm going to on the hover when you hover over it the text should change to let me say something like yellow let me just make it for it now i'm just you're going to use this yellow you can see when i hover over it it changes to yellow that is how i want it then when it's active anyone that is active is going to which color should i want do i want it to be so you can actually choose your color but for now i'm going to leave just leave my the way it is so i'm going to after do, finishing all this particular side you can click on this particular side click on this section to edit this particular whole section then come to where you have layout then come to where you have line height that's you will now see fit to then i'm going to be making use of minimum height when you click on minimum height it's going to then you can fix in your height default height as you want it maybe 17 i'm going to be make use of 80 as my default so now this is how if my website is going to look like when i have my logo on it this is how my website is going to look like but let me show you something if you actually leave your website like this and publish it there's something that will happen where by the time it's used as scrolls you can see the menu go along with it what i normally like doing on my own website if i'm creating my website is i always want my header to stay by the time the user scroll it should still remain at the top so what i'm going to do now is to come to stick to advance that's on this click on this then come to advance then come to where we have motion effects then once you come to motion effect you click on sticky and make it stick to the top then you can choose your devices where you want it you want it on desktop to be sticky on desktop tablet or you can just try to choose anyone you, know you don't want you can actually remove it so that is it so i actually want it to be sticky on all of them so i after doing this when i scroll down you can see that it's no more going up it's still remaining remain sticky here so that is actually how we create it your own menu bar without even going to that please so now i'm going to now once you are done with that i'm going to click on this but i'm going to add a little animation to this so that i want them to when they appear they should appear very well so i'm going to click on this particular one and click from this side click on this then come to advance um, motion then on motion i'm going to it should just slide down i want it to slide down or it should fit down like this yeah i want it that way then this one too so I should also fit down motion then it should fit down but on this now i'm going i might actually give this one a it's on delay maybe this one should come after 500 milliseconds. Second, then save. Once you try to publish it, it's going to ask you to give the condition. So now I'm going to click on condition. I'm sure you select all sites. If you want it to appear to the in the entire site, you should select entire site, then click on save. Once you click on save, now what we are going to do is to go and update our website. Let's go to our website now and see how it looks like. Let me come here. This is 
website. Let's see how our website now is now looking. If you're still watching this video and you have not yet considered subscribing to my channel, please hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new videos. So this is the website we have been working on. You can see this is how my menu, the menu I created, this is how it is now. So you can see this is actually how you can work on your menu and insert your menu without going to all those stress and this thing. So if you actually enjoyed this video or and you have any video idea or any challenges, you can see this particular video actually came because of challenges that some of you were having. You can actually drop each and every challenges you are having so I can see how to create a video to actually solve that particular problem you are actually having. I actually want each and every one of you to learn how to design websites yourself. So if you have any challenges, you can actually drop in the comment box below. I try my best to see how to answer and give you the right answer solution to your problem. Until next time, bye for now. Oh, <laughs>